Hello folks and uh, welcome along to another video from Gundog and Fly, Tom Mila Fall to Roy Verisht. And uh, this here is Ruby. Ruby is a seven month old Springer Spaniel female. And uh, her owner brought her to me and said she's um, gone completely out of control. When she lets her off, she heads for the horizon and won't come back when she's called. So she's asked me to try and resolve this problem. So what I'll do is I'll bring her into a field here which is just behi behind the camera here and uh, we'll let her go and we'll see what happens. Now I've had her for a few days just to, for us to get to know each other and uh, I think she's kind of got a little bit of respect for me so um, I'm hoping that we're, I'll show you first of all uh, the issue and um, then I'll show you how I propose to resolve it. Good girl, Ruby. Come on. Come on, Ruby. Good girl. Now, Ruby's a lively little dog and uh, she's very keen to hunt. She's got a lot of prey drive, so she's going to be hard to handle anyway. So, we need to put a little manners on her. So, I'm going to start that off by just getting her to hop. Good girl. Hop. Just getting her to sit. And just to understand and get her to start off understanding that I'm the one in control here and that I'm the boss. And it's very simple things like just getting her to sit like that and um, getting her to respond to simple commands that are the foundation of control over the dog. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk her up and down here and just a few, stop her a few little times and just get her to sit and um, we'll take it from there and then I let her go and we'll see what happens. Here we go Ruby, come on. Hop, hop. Good girl, good girl. Come on. Come on. Now I'm going to use the hop and the whistle together just so she'll, she'll associate the two together and eventually she'll respond to either one. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Come on. Hop. Good girl, good girl. Now I'm just going to let her go and uh, we'll see how she behaves. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. We're going fine so far. Good girl. There she goes. Oh no, she's coming back again. Come on. Good girls. Good girls. Come on. She's been remarkably well behaved. Good girls. Come on. Hey, 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 hey! Now she's heading for the horizon. But she did turn. What? Oh. Ruby! Good girl. She's been remarkably well behaved, really. Um, I think some of the problem might be um, that the dog doesn't have any real respect for, the, for her owner. She doesn't see the owner as a boss. She sees herself as the boss where, this, where her owner is concerned. So maybe it's the person that needs training more than the dog. Because after just a few days with her, I seem to have 
she's bonded with me and she seems happy to be with me and to stay around me um, maybe that's part of the problem so I'm gonna let her go again and we'll see what happens come on good girl good girl Ruby good girl come on good girl He's a great girl. Now, call of nature. Hop, 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 hey, hey, hop, hop. Good girl, good girl. No. With a dog that um, has a tendency to run off and ignore you, essentially the problem is the dog is doing its own thing for itself. Hop. Good girl. Good girl. The dog has, at that point, really seen itself as a leader and it goes off and does what it wants. This pup here sees her owner in that light. She sees her owner as subservient to her and that she's the boss and can go off and do whatever she likes. I have a different attitude towards the dog so the dog now sees me as a leader and wants to stay around me and wants to do um, things for me she wants to work for me as opposed to work for herself now in the, there's there's also well it requires a bit of work if you have a dog that's running off too far and basically as anybody who's hunted with a springer spaniel will know If your dog is hunting out too far, well obviously you're not going to be able to shoot any game because they're out of range. It's as simple as that. So you need to keep your dog within shotgun range. And that is effectively around 40 yards. Your dog needs to be working inside of 40 yards or thereabouts. In order to get the dog to do that, you need to make life interesting immediately around you. The dog needs to see you and the area immediately around you as the place to be at. And how we do that is, I'm gonna show you here just now. Good girl. Now she's interested in me anyway, but for demonstrational purposes. Ruby, Ruby, come on, come on. Good girl. I'm gonna show you what I would do to make life interesting around me. She likes tennis balls, zooey, good girl. What's that? What's that? What's that? Now she's not a great retriever as it happens. I found that out at home in the yard. She'll pick up, she'll carry, but she won't bring it to me. But that's for another day, we'll sort that out. But now you can, in order to keep her around me, all you do is you just make her see the ball. Let her see it. Now we're just gonna walk around a bit. And as you can see, she's really interested. She just wants that ball. Now she's running around, and if she goes out any bit from me, good girl. Now she runs away. Ruby, just let her see it. That'll bring her back around me again. Good girl. Ruby, Ruby, what's that? What's that? Now, so what you need to do is you need to find what your dog is interested in. And every time the dog goes to go away, you get its attention and you let it see whatever it is that it's interested in. And it will stay around you. <laughs> Good girl, Ruby. So now, 
Come on. Come on. Nice, he should hardly leave my feet. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's a great girl. Hey. Now. Good girl. Now her reluctance to bring the ball back to me is, like I say, for another day. That's no big problem. That can be easily solved. But um, the important thing here today is that Ruby sees me as the one in command. And I think I firmly established that and there won't be any real issues. What we need to really do is to train Ruby's owner. Unfortunately, dogs are relatively easy to train, but unfortunately, people are much more difficult to train. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to work with Ruby's owner and get her to um, establish a proper relationship with our pup. So that's it people, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that it's some way instructive if your dog is running off on you and has no respect for you, you, well, you need to establish a proper pecking order and as well as that to keep your dog close just to recap, find something they're interested in and let them keep seeing it every time they go to go out and eventually what happens is it breaks the habit of them running out and uh, going off doing their own thing and they eventually stay within the required distance. So Ruby is easy train, but like I said, um, I'll be making an attempt to train our owner at some point in the future. So, shin shin, oim enov. Gorim meal meal maha gui asok for khalu do rish, dagas gri an kea do rile, slang of oil. Come on Ruby, good girl, good girl. <laughs>